Hi guys welcome back to traces of twan's live so now that my husband has put down some black mulch and he's putting down some type of i don't know what these little bracket things he's putting down um around the parameters of the um hedges um but he's putting those down for temporary until he decides to put something else down later but I'm going ahead and I am going to redo the front porch area. So just continue to watch as I remove all of the old decor and add the new fall decor.
And here is the finishing look of the front porch refresh. I am showing you all here a brief that I made. I did not do a video on this one because I did two other reefs and I already uploaded those. If you want to see how I make them, I'll add the link to those videos in the description box for you. But this is a beautiful reef that I made and I purchased all the products from Hobby Lobby. Now, as you can see, I did not do much at all. I just changed out the doormat. I changed out the cushions and the chairs, and I changed out the wreath. I do not like to go overboard with putting things on my front porch because I like for my entrance to be clear and free of all those little critters out there. I, I don't want to be walking up on frogs and lizards jumping out at me and all that stuff. So I want to be able to see. So that's the reason why I don't go overboard and put all those pumpkins and all those different types of decor on my front porch. I don't know. I may change uh, for Christmas and add a little bit more because I do seem to put a lot in my yard during Christmas time, but usually not on the front porch, but we'll see. I just kind of want to give you an explanation if you're wondering why I didn't really go all out in this very basic looking. That's why your girls is scared of reptiles <laughs> and critters. <laughs> 